Uh, so I guess the meat and bones question, but what's it like to be an All Blacks fan living in Canada? Is, is it any way comparable to being a hockey fan living in somewhere like New Zealand or somewhere remote like that? Or? Being a, a rugby fan here is not so bad, uh, because there are, there's, a, there's a rugby community. Yeah, there is a rugby community here, so you can get a sort of a sense of a feel for it. And Canada has done well, traditionally, with rugby World Cup too, so you can get a sense of it. But it is hard sometimes sitting there, you know, watching every game. You know, at home I know I'd be watching a really huge group, whereas sometimes I'm just sort of watching it with my kids. So. Alright. Well, and the New Zealand ice hockey team does do a hockey too. I've, they do. I've seen it. They so. do. Yeah, hard to do on skates. But which makes it even more more impressive, yeah. right? Um, now we we like to say here that we eat, drink, sleep hockey. That's kind of our passion. Comparable. Uh, so do you bleed all black or? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I'm from a small town at the bottom of New Zealand where there is nothing other than rugby. That's that's what people do from the moment. You know, they can do anything. They're they're playing rugby. They're rugby ball in their hands and they're wearing black jerseys. So it's um, for me, yeah, it's it's a huge part of, of growing up and part of who I am. Yeah, so watching those all-black games, I'm, you know, I'm a mild man in Kiwi most of the time. I've been watching all Blacks game. Things change. Yeah, for sure. Tell me about the drought. Uh, they haven't won since 87, which is when they hosted, which means that they haven't won since I was born. Mm -hmm. uh, how Perfect. does that... Yeah, thanks for bringing that Yeah, how does that weigh on you? Big time. Big time, yeah. It's, it's a huge thing for the New Zealanders, and especially uh, having traveled and, and lived in, amongst rugby communities in life, you get constantly given reminders by it, especially by Australians, um, of the drought. Uh, it's it's tough. I mean, and we go into every World Cup as favourites, and for whatever reason, I don't, I don't necessarily believe in the choke attack. There's always this talk of us being choked. I don't actually believe in that. I think it's just been a lot of circumstances that have been, they haven't won it. Um, but yeah, it's tough. Has it been, I mean, obviously this is a yes, but has it been painful seeing Australia and South Africa, which are your two rivals down south there, win Two since you won one. Incredibly painful, and and more so, um, more so because the the pressure has sort of gone off those countries a little bit. Whereas in the past, South Africa would have been like the always, where they are expected to win every game. But there seems to be a bit of a pressure going off from their public in recent times. That sort of allows them to develop more. As whereas our public's more, we have to win every single game, whereas they can develop more for a World Cup, so um, you know, there's a good chance that they'll win again this year, right? And that would make it three, and that would make it even worse.